Our next selection technique on our journey here doesn't involve things like lassos or marquee tools or even selection by color. It actually involves a paintbrush. So open up Grapes of Wrath right here. What I want to do here, looking at these grapes, is I want to change the color of some of them. Now that involves selection. It's always going to involve selection. Now the selection technique we're going to use is something called a quick mask. Quick masks have been in Photoshop for a very long time, and they allow us to use a paintbrush to make it work. Now I've chosen this particular image because grapes are round, and the average paintbrush is actually round. So with that said, let me come over here. Here's my paintbrush. I've got it selected. I've got black as my painting color. If I come over here and begin painting on these, that's not really going to work because I'm actually painting on the actual image. So that's why I love undo. If we come back out over here and look at this button right there, that is the quick mask button. You can select the quick mask by either clicking that button or pressing the letter Q on your keyboard. But what I want you to see more is what's going on up here. I'm going to press the letter Q. It actually says quick mask. Now here's the difference. With my paintbrush loaded with black, I'm painting with black. But if I press the letter Q and go into quick mask and paint again, I'm painting with a color. Now the default color is red and it looks semi-transparent. But if I come back over and get out of quick mask, it becomes a selection. The selection is defined by how you use your paintbrush. I'm going to press Control D, which is deselect. I'm going to bring these up a little bit. I want to get this group of grapes, just this one group, looking a little bit different in terms of color. It makes sense to make them a little bit bigger like that. Let's pick up our paintbrush again. Now, a couple of things to remember. If I'm in quick mask, and let me go ahead and do that, and I paint with that color, it becomes a red, but it also becomes a selection. If I paint with white, and I'm going to use the letter X on my keyboard to reverse, it will, in a sense, remove the selection as if I was holding down the Alt key. And if I press Q again, as you can see, I have a selection that's split. The whole key to this is the paintbrush. Now, let's do this. Let me press Control D. Let's go back into Quick Mask. I'm going to use the left and right bracket keys on my keyboard to make the brush bigger or smaller. What I want to do is get the edges of this group of grapes. And so what I'm going to do here, use the letter X, and I'm going to make the color black, and I'm going to start painting. Now the hardest thing, I think we know this, about any selection is getting the edge. So what I'm doing is I'm using my left and right bracket keys to make the brush a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, and my goal is to get the outline. Once I've gotten the outline, what I can do is I can then fill it in. That's always going to be the hardest thing is getting that outline. So let's go ahead and make sure we get this thing just the way we want. And again, this is easy, but don't forget, we are going to talk about brushes. And you can make specific brushes that work in specific ways, in specific sizes. So it's not unreasonable to think that you might have another type of thing that you need to do that doesn't require a standard round brush, yet you still might be able to get it to work. I'm going to go here and go overboard over this area here. Don't worry about that. We'll take care of that in a minute. And we'll get here. And we're almost done with the outline. Now let's do this. Fill in these areas. Now that we've got the outline, it's going to be easier for us to paint all this. Make sure you get it all filled in. Then I'll look around just a little bit more. We could spend a lot of time on this, but we don't need to. You would spend more time, just like I would, if this were a project and you needed to get it done perfectly. You would spend every minute making sure everything is perfect. And that's not too bad. Now what about these? Paint with white. I'll press the letter X. I'm going to get right about there. So I can cut that piece right out with white and make this exactly the way I want it to be. And that's the idea, is getting those edges. That's not too bad. If we come over here and click the Q button again, or press this button, we now have this very specific selection. With that done, 
Let's go into Layers right here. Let's go into our Half Moon icon down here and pick up something like, oh, again, U and Saturation. Pretty aggressive. The mask is made based on the selection. And I can then come over here and change just that one group of grapes. That's pretty neat. Now I can see up here that I still have some problems. Now we can choose to go back to Q and go into Quick Mask, or right now we can paint it out. Up to us. In my case, I think what I'm going to do is keep the mask selected here, pick up my paintbrush again. To get rid of these areas right here, what I need to do is I need to paint with black. I'm going to click those areas out just like that. Down here, I'll press the letter X, and that will reverse my color to white, which is my painting color. Come right down there and finish this off. Quick masks. They're very easy to work with. A lot like an adjustment layer where you have a mask where you paint it, except you're painting directly on the image with a physical color. The color translates into a selection. On to the next.